chini ya maarufu Kenya National Archives lilizinduliwa mwaka 1964 kupitia msoda wa bunge uliotaka kuwepo kwa sehemu ya kuhifadhi stakabadhi baadhi muhimu za serikali nchini katika nyakati hizo National Archives ilikuwa chini ya usimamizi wa makamu wa rais na wizara ya sanaa na utamaduni lakini kama jinsi mwanahabari wetu Ken Kimani anatusimulia si wengi wanajua jumba hili lina nini ndani yake What I know is like a ni Kenyan museum. Yeah. So zile vitu za nya like ma president wa kitambo alikuwa anatumia like seats vitu kama hizo. It's it's just the story ni nimekuwa nikisikia. This is an, a place where they keep public records. These are some records that we collect from different government offices and then they are to be kept in the Kenyan National Archives for further references. Kitengo cha sanaa cha Murumbi ni mahali palipotengewa michoro na michongo ya Kiafrika iliyohifadhiwa na Joseph Murumbi aliyekuwa makamu wa rais wa pili. Murumbi alikusanya michongo na michoro katika nchi tofauti za Kiafrika na baadaye kuuzia serikali mkusanyiko wa bidhaa hizi. In collection of some of the books and uh, some of the artifacts that he collected. This are some of the collection he collected all over Africa, not only in Kenya. You'll get things from Kenya, you'll get things from Ethiopia, Nigeria, and then he was keeping them in his house. So when he was selling them to the Kenyan National Archive, <coughs> he decided that even the artifact that he collected that was in the in, in, in his library, in his house, also be together. He sold them also all of them to the Kenyan National Archives. And that's why they are inside the Kenya National Archives. That's why we call the, the gallery the Murumbi Gallery. Ukumbi huu pia ni mahala pa kuwekea nyaraka za serikali zilizo wazi kwa umma kwa utafiti. Uh, the Kenya National Archives mostly the, the special things is just the, the, to collect the records and give them to the public. Uh, that is the most special thing with the Kenya National Archives. Because if you collect those records and then you can the, 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 the public can come and view the, those records or look for information of those records. Ukumbi huu unafunguliwa kila siku kuada ya shilingi hamsini tu kwa watu wazima na ishirini kwa watoto lakini pita pita zetu jijini zinaashiria wengi hawajui kuhusu jumba hili. No anything to do with Kenya National Archives? Mm, not really. Not really. Have you ever entered the Kenya National Archives? I know. Yeah. Have you even bothered to enter? I know I'm not. Just know it's just a building. Eh, ni kaa landmark kwangu. Eh. So jenge. Mimi najua ni story na wase kujuliswa historia venye ilikuwa. Ibrahim Uching mwalimu wa historia katika shule ya upili ya Great Kilimara kutoka kaunti ya Nyeri anawaleta wanafunzi ziara ya mafunzo hapa kujifunza masuala ya kihistoria. We came here at the National Archives so that we can add to the to add more information on the artifacts sort of stuff about the Kenyan culture even cultures from from beyond Kenya from places like Tanzania Botswana all, all that which, is, which has been uh, which has been very helpful yeah. did you know about Kenyan national yeah i had heard it on tv before but i never visited the place yeah P of course uh, the the national archives preserves also the the cultural aspect and that's why it was created and therefore people must embrace people must embrace more students should come to to do even research and even those from the universities tangu kuanzishwa kwa katiba mpya na ofisi ya naibu wa rais kuchukua wadhifa wa makamu wa rais sasa ukumbi wa archives unadhibitiwa na wizara ya sanaa na utamaduni this will come to Kenya National Archives is when they can be enriched with the cultural heritage those are some of the things that the Africans were using in the olden days. You will find they will teach them how the Africans were. Because these things, you, they, you cannot get them anywhere anymore. But if you come to the archives, you see about the, uh, the, the Murumbi Gallery, then you get what you can see. And when somebody also doing a research, or somebody is looking for an information, let them come to the archives and request, ask for those kind of info, information. If the information is there they will be given. Kila mmoja anakaribisha kufanya utafiti au kusoma kuhusu utamaduni. 
Ken Kimani. Sana Jami.